What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about preparing for the busy April month ahead. Kind of an update, but also talking about some of the upcoming games that I'm both excited for, I think other people are excited for, and then I guess a little bit more personal how I intend to cover it, and we'll go from there. Trying something a little bit different. Uh, I normally do these kind of monthly previews, but we're going to try something slightly off of that. So firstly, this month is big. I would argue, and I don't know if I would be right, you can fight me on this, but I do think April so far would be the biggest month for gaming of the year. January would probably have something to say to you, okay? I think January, I guess you could maybe say February for Hogwarts, but the thing is, I'm talking, I guess, about quantity as well as quantity quality like January was kind of both it had a lot of games that came out but yet again some of them were kind of hit or miss right February had the biggest game of the entire year so far and probably for the next like three four five months in Hogwarts but I didn't have too much beyond that and so I, I think I could win that argument that that April is going to be a mix so what do we got well, we got the crash team rumble beta I, I do want to throw that out there because I'm getting excited for it we'll talk again as this video goes on about what I'm going to be doing on the channel you know for these games but you got crash and it's only the beta and it's only if you pre-order the game right so a select audience for sure but an audience nonetheless you got Minecraft Legends which I know not that many people at least in my circle are excited for it. whenever I bring it up I actually get a lot of people that very much dislike me because I say that I'm excited for it but I honestly am I'm not gonna lie about it Horizon right Burning Shores the background here very excited for that one Dead Island 2 Star Wars Survivor and then the last one is the last case of Benjamin Fox that's a little indie game Xbox did they did at one of their most recent shows that I actually got a release date for late April I am psyched for that game because that game looks really really rad so it's a pretty big month. Now, again, the reason why I guess maybe it would be an argument for is this the biggest month? You go to January. I mean, January had like the Dead Space remake. It had SpongeBob, which I actually thought was a really solid game. It had Fire Emblem. It had the Personas 3 and 4, right, releasing on different platforms. Like, it had some big stuff. SpongeBob, though, how many people actually played that? Forspoken was a big game. But was it really all that big right in January? I, I think when you look at that month versus this month or Hogwarts Legacy versus this month, obviously the Titan, I think, the Titan is Jedi Survivor, right? That's the huge one. But I think there's some surprises there. I think, you know, Benjamin Fox is more of like an indie thing that I, I don't think many people are going to play, but I think it should actually be really good. Horizon, I think, will be kind of gigantic, but it's only on PS5. Jedi is the huge one. Dead Island is kind of a coin flip can it be a surprisingly big hit both I guess selling wise and then also quality I'm excited for I think that game looks rather good by the way these are just the games I'm into I'm very selfish so I'm only focusing on what I'm interested in I'm sure there's other games throughout April as well crash has quite the back and forth right it could be great it could be an outright disaster we won't know until we play it so this month is definitely kind of going to be all over the place and I'm excited for that so then a little bit more on the personal side of how I intend to cover it well hopefully if you guys have been watching the main channel I I've been trying some different things so crash I'm kind of running I actually did this before with games like Friday the 13th or I guess maybe predator hunting grounds where I kind of talk about what the beta needs to do what it needs to not do you know things like that so I'm trying and I'm being pretty honest I am trying to do different things and things that are pretty select towards these individual games I know a couple months ago I started like my ultimate preview I think that's what I called it the ultimate preview of a game and that's where I actually type it out so there is a difference I do the why I'm getting and sometimes I say and you should too right why I'm getting a select game that's more of me just rambling that's me saying I'm excited for this game here's why I'm excited for this game but I don't necessarily go into like every single detail of the game. The ultimate previews is where I type out a little script. I record it. I edit it. It's a little bit more compact. I think I did it for Hogwarts. I did it for Dead Space. And they actually did a really well. Like I'm very happy with the reception to it. View wise, people's uh, just opinions of me. Like it was, it was well received. So I definitely want to do more of that. I'll probably do things like that for Jedi Survivor, Horizon. I think I would do it at least in probably Dead Island. I think those three games, I would do something like that. Crash, I'm going to try to be kind of specific. 
the crash beta i intend to play every day at least at least most of them at least a lot in the beginning make some videos on it um not just like tips and tricks but also okay how is it right let's analyze it maybe we can rank the characters i'm pretty excited for this month and it's been a pretty up and down year from viewers to subscribers to to ads and and, and ad rates i suppose but all this stuff it, it's gone up and down and you know with hogwarts largely done scream i'm still doing so much of like every other day and i, I genuinely love it so i'm never gonna stop I'm excited to like, well, firstly, we get a whole load of games and we got a whole load of games again in January. And I kind of defaulted to just the most basic video again, like Dead Space had that preview, which I thought was really good. And I I'm proud of myself, I guess, for that. But a lot of the rest of it was more of like just reviews. I want to get back, like going back in my catalog, which there's like 6,000 videos on my main channel. So I've done it recently. You know, I've done a whole bunch of different topics for specific games that are coming out, games that I kind of wish would come out. I want to get back to that stuff a little bit. So Crash is kind of like my testing ground for it, but so is, you know, Dead Island and, and Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And so I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to try to do very specific videos on each of these games. I want to talk about, maybe I'm, a, I'm thinking of doing a series of like which games deserve remakes and talk about some games that I think could benefit from it. I've had a couple of games on my mind, but I'm thinking of and, and wanting to try different things in April. I think it's it's a benefit. It's something that I, I'm hoping it works considering, you know, again, Hogwarts largely passed it, you know, when things happen, of course, and then when Scream coming and going, right? So I basically have more open slots, I guess, on the channel to talk about these other games, right? When Hogwarts is in full swing, when Scream is in full swing, so many video um, slots, like each day on the channel, they're taken up by these things. So now that those are kind of removed, uh, for the most part, again, Scream is still kind of there, I can do these specific videos on these specific games, as well as news. Hopefully, for the love of God, we get some news, because it's actually been very dead gaming news-wise, also rumor-wise, for the last couple months. Like when the TMNT game happened, I was like, oh my God, finally, some sort of news story that actually has some weight, because most of it actually hasn't. So I'm looking forward to this month a lot. I think each of these games represents something a little bit different. Again, some of them are like coin flips. Some of them I think are more like almost slammed. Well, you never want to be 100%, right? But a game like Jedi Survivor, you're obviously banking on it being really good, being one of the better games of the year. I don't think it's unfair to say that, right? You got some indies, you got some smaller stuff, you got Crash, which could definitely go either way. Even like a Minecraft Legends, which again, I don't know how many people care about. It's exciting. It's a very diverse month for gaming and this really is the kickoff like once we get i think two weeks two weeks is a bunch of these games starting to come out once that happens you know may may's got redfall and all and redfall i think is like may 2nd or something so right away in may on you get a boatload of games. So this is really, I think, the damn opening. It opened a little bit, right? Dead Space, Forspoken, they opened the, the floodgates. It got flooded. Hogwarts came out, Atomic Heart. And then the floodgates kind of closed, like accidentally on itself. And then it was pretty much nothing for a very long time. And then now it's starting to, you know, Resident Evil. So starting to pick up now. So I'm excited for where we're at. I think this is the start of really... Like a, about two months, right? Mid-April to mid-June, maybe late June. So two and a half months of kind of nonstop games, which is exciting, a little stressful because it's a lot of work, but what else am I going to do, right? And then you have a little bit more of a break in like July and then the things pick back up with August and so on and so on. I won't go through all the months. I think you guys know the order. So let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, and honestly, let me know which of these games maybe you're most into, right? Um, I kind of look at the stats. I look at the analytics of, you know, are people caring about certain things? If videos on a certain game get more views, I mean, honestly, the way I kind of proceed with that is I focus on that a little bit more, right? So I want to do Crash. Crash does not do well view-wise, but I'm going to ride it out. But if people like Dead Island, if people like Minecraft Legends, right, like I'd, I'd focus a little bit more. There'd basically just be more videos on those games than others. That's all that it would actually mean. So let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the month of April. Make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turn on, I guess, on all of my YouTube channels. And I hope to see you all on the next one.